Hi guys! Today it's time for another special video on color theory and that sort of thing. Because you need it, really. Let's face it, everyone needs to brush up with color theory, uh, e even I, uh, if every now and then. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, about uh, how to change hue with uh, to how to change the quality of a color. The quality of a color is its saturation, basically, if you've, if you've ever uh, been on Photoshop or that sort of thing, you know what saturation is. A desaturated color is a color that's, um, that has uh, less quality, so to speak, that, is, uh, that has been drained of color, that is grayer. A desaturated, the ultimate desaturation for all colors is gray, neutral gray. Uh, and the very saturated version of a color is the one that is closest to its primary colors, or secondary in some cases. Let me show you uh, under the close cam what is a saturated color. This here is a red. This on the color circle would be obtained by mixing uh, magenta, the primary color, and with um, perhaps a tinge of yellow. But this, in, in this instance, is Kador red. It's a very saturated hue. It's what you get directly on the color circle without any nuances. Uh, it's, it, it's at its uh, neutral brightness, so to speak, and its neutral quality. When you choose your hues for, um, for, for painting your miniatures, uh, you, I see my other video about uh, color theory um, that I, I've done previously. Uh, for color harmony and that sort of thing, uh, you are not, of course, forced uh, to uh, mix three primary colors and, uh, and, and, and paint only with those colors, although you could theoretically do it. There's plenty of tones to choose from that are a mix of these three. For example, this is uh, Arcane Blue from Privateer Press. It's something obtained with uh, green and blue and perhaps a little of the white to change its brightness, but we'll see about that later on. Uh, anyway, this is Kador Red. This would be obtained through the device of the color circle with magenta and yellow. This is at its maximum uh, saturation. It is very saturated, very vivid, so to speak. Let me show you how this goes. Here I've painted a very vivid band of red, so to speak. <coughs> One can can not saturate it further. It's the most vivid red you can get, so to speak. Well, you could add magenta. It would be slightly more saturated, I think, but not much, really not much. To saturate a color, there are uh, several methods. Uh, you can add some gray, and I will do so just now. Let me find a neutral gray, for example. Uh, a good neutral gray would be, uh, for example, Iron Hull Gray from Private Air Press. Um, also, uh, most stone grays or German uniform grays are pretty neutral. This one is neutral but slightly darker, but never mind. This is it. Oh, let me show you under the close cam. This is my, my grey that we will tend to.
see, we have here a gradient of the most saturated color po possible color, and progressively we're getting to the more de uh, desaturated version, actually. Yeah. See, that's still a red, still a red, still a red, still a very subdued red here, and then it's just grey. Um, this is one way to desaturate a colour. There are others, and I will show you, of course, because I'm nice that way. My Kado, my Kado uh, red, of course. Paint it from the pot again. Actually, there's a little more here. To, to desaturate a color, you can add the color it's opposed to in the color circle. Uh, if you remember the color circle we've done in a previous video, there's a photo for you to remember. There's here some red, some, some green, I'm sorry, that I have on my palette. It's uh, a dark green from Code Darms. It's slightly blue, slightly green. It's mainly green. It's almost 50-50 blue and yellow just like it should be for our purpose. It's the exact complementary color, almost exact, as exact as we can make it for this red. And as you can see, it works. Here you have A red that is turning a bit darker and also a bit more desaturated because as you mix the complementary color, if you mix complementary colors together, it's the same as if you mix, mix the three primary colors or the three secondary colors uh, together, you tend towards a black or if you've done it slightly wrong if the concentrations aren't exactly right you end up with a dull brown or a dull dark gray but it's usually black by the way it's called additive um, um, it, it, it's called um, the the additive color circle not the subtractive one the subtract subtractive one is for light not for paint it's because well, Wikipedia. Anyway, uh, this, this, as you see, this is progressively desaturated, and then you get to the green, and it's going to be resaturated towards the green, of course. But this is desaturated, and this tends towards black. Oftentimes, uh, to desaturate a color, we use this method because uh, uh, and with an even lighter gray sometimes, because this one tends to change the lightness of the color, and sometimes we don't want that, but sometimes we do. Another method of desaturating a color, which also changes its brightness, but never mind that, is to add either white or black. Let me show you with white. This is white, actually, on, on my sheet of paper. Let me show you this. It tends towards the pink, but it also desaturates, as you can see. The red is going paler. It is also leaning towards something that is more grey, as opposed to what you would get with, uh, for example, let, let me show you. Oh dear, not enough red again. Uh, 
as opposed to what you would do by highlighting uh, this one, this red, with, uh, for example, a light yellow, such as an ivory. If you highlight it with a with a yellow, it will not be as desaturated. This is a uh, an ivory which makes it, of course, a light yellow and not exactly white. That's why we can highlight with impunity here. See, the, this is actually more vivid than this, slightly, but still. See what I mean? The can even go if you wanted to highlight it and and keep its saturation as opposed to uh, draining the color towards white you would uh, use even perhaps yellow here there's a trace of it really there you see still gets lighter but not desaturated, whereas this does. This one here. You can also do it with black. Um, let's see here if I can gather a little red. There. I can certainly show you how the black desaturates our color. There is our black. See, it becomes more gray. Now that you know what is desaturation, how to do it and how not to do it, uh, I might it might interest you uh, to to know what it's good for. Um, well, you see, you might want to uh, differentiate parts of your minis uh, that are painted the same hue. For example, you might want to make different browns for different parts, uh, different colored leathers and 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 clothes. Uh, you might make uh, you might want to make uh, different. Um, uh, different types of red, uh, for example, for a cape or for a, um, and for the eyes and for the uh, uh, gloves and whatever. Uh, different parts of your minis that will be painted basically the same hue, but not necessarily the same color, because laws of harmony say you may have um, as much as three uh, major hues on your miniature: one major, one minor one median, as said in a previous video. Uh, but it doesn't have to be one color. Of course, uh, the cape, for example, of your, of your wizard could be red, but it will be a shaded red uh, that, that goes from uh, perhaps a dark brown to maybe an orange, you know but it will be red mainly. Um, uh, the, uh, and the, 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 the robe of your wizard might be another red to differentiate, to differentiate it from, from the cape. It might be a colder red. It might be a desaturated red, for example, a red that goes from, from black and gray and goes up through the reds and up to uh, something more pinkish, perhaps. You know, in the in the highlights, that will still be the same hue. So that's basically what what saturation is good for. Also, saturate playing on saturation lets you enhance certain details of your miniature, because a desaturated colors, very gray, subdued colors. That was that, that's why they're called subdued. Actually, they don't attract the eye. They are not as violent as other colors, they don't evoke movement or life. 
they're more mineral, if you will. Uh, if if it, it might be interesting also to put uh, uh, to make uh, uh, this other type of contrast, which is quality contrast, you put a desaturated color with a very saturated one. The eye will be drawn towards the saturated, the vivid color, not the gray one. And that's useful when uh, you want to attract the, the eyes of, the, of, of someone towards a certain part of the miniature, or when you want to create a certain atmosphere on your miniature. Um, actually, uh, the, um, the contrast of quality is also used to enhance the contrast of hue. Um, you can put uh, the pure contrast of quality is, of course, um, a, um, a contrast of um, a pure contrast. Oh, I'm sorry. Pure contrast of quality is oftentimes used for, say, uh, with uh, say, say you put a, a very grayish. Uh, red next to a very vivid red that will attract the attention towards the red. Oftentimes it's also used with contrast of hue. You put a very saturated color next to a very vivid complementary color or, uh, or color that contrasts with it. For example, a very dull green will make a, 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 red, a vivid red look better. See, there are vivid reds here. I will show you an example with a, a very desaturated green, as green. That's it, that is gray green, actually, from Code Dams. It's a very desaturated green, almost gray. It is gray, actually. There, perhaps I'll put a little more green in it still to to still show you that it's a green and not a, not a grey. There, I'll resaturate it, if you will. Resaturating a color is harder is is uh, harder to do than desaturate it, but uh, it can be done. Just add some of the primary or secondary color to it, as I just did. This is a very desaturated green, and it will, of course, enhance this red right here. See, the eye is instantly drawn, if you forget about that, instantly drawn towards the red, the red here, and not the green. However, If you put some red right next to this here, if you if you if you have that uh, yeah, uh, there under the close cam, this red next to this green, the green is pretty much attracting the eye. Let's have it even lighter. Let's have a grass green. Or oh, this one, this one will be way better to show you. There, have here a very, very saturated green. It's fluorescent almost. You see, the effect is quite different. Quite, quite different. You know, just forget about that for a minute. See. I should think that's fairly obvious. So saturation is a very interesting tool for painting miniatures and creating an atmosphere also. Desaturated color tend to mean stability, uh, gravitas, um, how, shall I put it? how shall I put it, stillness, uh, contained emotions, a uh, 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 very vivid red will evoke violence, for example, and movement. 
while the desaturated red might evoke that, but contained, subdued. You see? That is, uh, that is more controlled. Perhaps uh, you see uh, a vivid blue that evokes magic, uh, water, something flowing, perhaps mineral, uh, and, 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 and uh, a more subdued blue, a more grayish blue that will evoke uh, melancholy, cloudy day, cold, that sort of thing. Uh, very vivid green will evoke spring, or perhaps uh, uh, and some, some, some color that is uh, turquoise will, will evoke aliens or very, very uh, vivid, vivid uh, glows and stuff. And uh, more subdued red will evoke, uh, perhaps subconsciously, um, a grayish green will evoke water, a bog, um, still water, murky water, uh, minerals, stones, something cold, something more still. I think you, you know what I mean. <coughs> well, that was contrast of quality, uh, usually associated with contrast of quantity, uh, because usually the vivid color is used in smaller quantity to pinpoint detail among a large area of desaturated color. That's just how it's usually done. You don't have to do it, but it's more often done like that because uh, a dot of desaturated color will ac actually not be as remarkable in a, in a notion of very vivid color, if you will. So that's it for saturation. Next time, we'll talk about brightness. Bye then.